Mountain. Mountain. set up this uh, endoscope once on my Samsung phone. I'm now going to set it up on this phone which has a C-type connector, it's a kicker mix. My Samsung's one of the older ones with a micro B. So let's just get the endoscope out and have a quick look at it and a look at the bits that go with it. Did the, um, the thing with the mirror, so I guess that's to enable you to see round corners with it. So we'll have a quick look at basic operation first. So let's undo it. Reasonably stiff wire so you can um, push it down things without too much fear of it not following the course you want it to follow and in most pipes and so on it should be able to push around just like a snake would uh, it's uh, how long is the cable I can't remember I think it's about 10 or 20 feet or something um, and there's the business end with the camera and the LEDs for illumination so let's just pop these accessories out which I haven't tried yet and pop them on and then I'll set up the application on my other phone and We'll do some testing to see um, how well it works. So I think I've worked these out. This one is a hook and it sl slits down into this little plastic collar here which you can slide up and down the endoscope itself and it sort of wedges in with this little knobbly bit at the end. So that's for hooking things. This one is actually a magnet so you can use that to pick up things which are ferromagnetic uh, like um, keys and screws and things and this just screws onto the end of the endoscope like this so that when you push it along you can see things that are at right angles instead of what's straight ahead. I'm just going to put the app on my phone and then we'll see uh, what the depth of field for the focus is like by using some text in a magazine. So let's have a look at this rather clever USB plug. Like that it's an A type, like that it's a micro B, and then if you plug the micro B to C adapter in, it becomes a C type. So we just need to now go to the home page on my phone and plug it in. And I have downloaded the application and they say it will automatically start. So it's now telling me there's a new software version available for my device. So it's trying to download CameraFi USB camera webcam, which is the one that I've got on my other uh, system. So for now, we'll carry on with what we've got. And you can see it's looking up at my face, sort of. And I've got my finger in the way. So let's take this thing off. Unscrew it, take it off. And we'll look at the instruction book, shall we? So you can see that's quite well focused at that distance, that's about uh, three inches I suppose, and as I go up it seems to maintain focus, so that's a lot better than I thought I was getting when I tested it before, I just had a very quick look before, and you can see it does see quite a long way, and if I point it at my face now, uh, not that I'm very pretty, but you can see it's uh, seeing my face and I'm uh, just over a foot away from it, so you get quite a good field of view, and it can go down to fairly close, that's just under an inch and it's beginning to blur. So it's a fairly good depth of field for the focus, let's point it across the other side of the room. Yeah, brilliantly good depth of field for the focus, so in fact this is going to be extremely useful for general exploring around. So I hadn't turned the light fully up, there's the fabric of a light jacket I was looking at in the garage which is completely dark. And then I went and had a look at a filing cabinet. You can see there's a screw hole in it there, and you can see the light reflecting off the filing cabinet. And then there's a spray can with some text on. I think if I'd turned the lights up a little bit more, I would have got better results.